friends. <laughs> Today we're in the kitchen again, and Chris is over there making gumbo, and I'm going to show y'all this um, Omega juicer I got. I'm so excited about it. Now, there is a store close to us um, called Dirt Cheap, and it is a little bit junky, but it's, it's new stuff, but it's like closeout stuff or clearance stuff that other stores didn't close, <laughs> didn't, uh, how would I explain that, baby? It just, they didn't sell it. you have to dig to get a bargain, but, uh, we do like to go there or I do. Chris doesn't like to go there much, but uh, anyway, I got this, um, Omega juicer and you can see the tag. It says $329 and they are that much because my mom has one like this. And guess how much I got for? How can they guess? They're on the video. Like <laughs> sixty dollars. It was um, uh, it was a whole bunch off. And so I'm going to show y'all. My mom, you know, she has the the cancer. Hopefully, she's supposed to be in remission. Or we're supposed to know maybe this week. Um, and she uses this. Um, uh, she juices all the time. And so. She has one of these, so we know how to we know how to run it. I'm gonna show y'all how it works and stuff. So it, uh -oh. so it was a real pretty color. It's red, which I think you usually have to pay extra for red. But uh, no, I didn't. But I'm going to wash these parts and then we're gonna do something over there like I said making gumbo for tonight it's a jury jury day so he's gonna make us some of that y'all want that recipe I can include it in the comments so we'll be right back all right I got it all together and this actually comes with several different um, kinds of uh, ends so you can put you can make um, Spaghetti, you can make uh, wheatgrass, you can chop your herbs. Uh, there's all kinds of, a whole little bag of all different different kinds of ends on. But today we're just going to juice, and we're going to do some kale, some gala apples because they're sweet. We're doing two. We're doing two leaves of kale, two gala apples, one lemon, one small beet, very small beet because otherwise you need to use half a beet because they're kind of bitter. Three large um, carrots, and I'm doing four, four and really just a little bonus celery. And uh, so let's get started. And of course, you always want to use organic, okay? And then just scrub real good. You don't have to peel the, the carrot or nothing because it's organic and you just scrub them up real good. So we're gonna put our endol on, and we're gonna put it on number five because we want it to, um, Number five just makes it um, where it, there's no pull. Okay, we'll turn it on. Turn that on, and we'll start. This is so, so good for you. You wanna kinda alternate your vegetables and uh, you can use your carrot and your celery kind of as your plunger, or you can actually use the plunger. But uh, don't get in a hurry, just kind of let it go. This is called a slow, it says slow on the package for a reason. Okay, you can see it's starting to do that beat. the first juice. Let me scoot this down so y'all can actually see in that camera. And the, the excess will come out this this uh, end. And you can re, you can put that through here again to get even more juice out. Or you can just put it on five like I do and it comes out really dry. Some people save that and actually make dog treats with it or just use it as a compost. 
we're using gala apples because gala apples are sweet. I think mom had made, she said, make sure you put the apple, don't forget the apple or it'll be so bitter. <laughs> that beet makes it pretty. Well, I'm gonna feed all this through here. See that, babe? Now, Chris has never tried this. I've done it lots of times with mama, but Chris has never done it, so this is gonna be experience for him. What do you think, babe? I already told the camera. <laughs> we're gonna finish um, putting this all through. We'll be right back when we're done. Okay, we're on our last little bit of carrot. And I, to juice all of that, I'd say it took me probably about five minutes. Not, not really long. And uh, that's the last of it. And so we got a hole. Let me turn this off. We got to show you. We got a whole side of um, pulp. And then we have um, our juice. And I'm just going to give that a quick stir and we'll pour it in a glass and uh, we'll try it. Okay, I'm just going to stir it. And I'd say this is probably a good two cups, wouldn't you, babe? Maybe even two and a half. Wish this had markings on the side. So I'm just going to pour a little bit because this is really going to be for my breakfast in the morning. This is just going to be for a taste. Sometimes if you just juice, I know it's better to juice and drink it immediately, but sometimes for convenience and you just want to kind of be lazy and not do it. But if you do it in advance, then um, you're more likely to, to do it. All right, babe, get over here and let's... Uh, you go in. Well, I know what it tastes like. Are you scared? I'm not scared. It's, I can smell the lemon. What do you think? It's alright. The beet's strong. I don't know what the... The lemon and the... Um, I mainly taste the lemon and the little bit of the beet. The lemon's really good. Uh, it's got two apples in it, but I think it could stand to have three. It's kind of tart. Mm -hmm. yeah, lemon. If you want to make the best uh, uh, lemonade ever that you'll ever ever try, do one lemon to two apples. But if you like it more sweet, you could do three apples and use Gala. And oh, it is. You won't even hardly want to buy regular lemonade. But this is good. What do you think, babe? Would you drink it some more? Yeah. We're gonna try to start being more healthy, and. Um, we eat a lot of a lot of junk, and so but I'm going to try to start doing this uh, once or twice a day, and uh, for meal replacement, and I think it'll be really good for me. This is nothing mm. like some good old rabbit juice. Yeah, that's good. So that'll be my breakfast or lunch. I'm not real big on breakfast. A lot of times I'll just have a cup of coffee, and maybe a a cookie or something a breakfast cookie or sometimes just a coffee so this will be um i'm gonna try to just have my coffee and then i'll just have this for my lunch and then i'll wait and just have dinner tomorrow night so all right i want you to keep me accountable we'll see you next time bye sidetrack ps note whatever you want to say gumbo's looking delicious i'll add the recipe to his gumbo in the uh comments bye